morning, I hope you had a lovely weekend and a nice, well-deserved rest, especially to those mums and dads homeschooling. I know it's, it can be hard work, but you're all doing a fantastic job. Anyway, like usually on a Monday, we're going to start off the comprehension. Last week, we were looking at information texts and some of the things they had, non-fiction texts. We were looking at contents pages, we were looking at indexes. This week, we're going to be writing our own information page about frogs. So I'm giving you a little bit heads up if you want to do a little bit of research on YouTube or anything about frogs, learn some cool facts about frogs. That could come useful come Wednesday and Thursday. But today, we're looking at a comprehension. Comprehension of another information text. And this week, as usually, on the second time we look at an information text, I'm not going to read it to you. Well, let me just describe what it's about, though, before I send you off to do your work. So... This one here is called sorting out an argument. And obviously arguments are real things. They happen every day, don't they? Sometimes with friends, sometimes with people you don't get on with. But they are a real thing. So they are non-fiction, they're information. This information text is trying to help you sort out an argument if you have an argument. It's for someone to read who's had an argument to help them make up with their friends again and become friends again, okay? So here are some steps to help you sort out an argument. Step one, stop arguing. Step two, calm down, take deep breaths. So they're in steps here, they're in order, things that you need to do. I've read you the first two. There's seven in total and I want you to read them all, okay? And I want you to read this little bit of information at the bottom as well. Then when we turn on the next page, we've got our sentences. As always, our first four, our red coloured sentences are just multiple choice. So this something tells us what to do if we have an argument. So as always, this something, choose your answer and move on. I won't tell you the answer because that's up to you to do, okay? Then question five and six, that's quite handy actually, are about rhyming words in the poem. So it says in point four, so you all need to go to point four. And we have seven points, so you have to look for point number four to answer that question. Five and six are both about rhyming words. Question seven, you can read yourselves. Question eight, have you argued with a friend? What was it about? Write some sentences saying how you felt and how you sorted it out. So I'll do a little example now. So let me think of an argument I had. But you know what? I always used to have arguments with my best friend, Stephen. We don't really have so many arguments nowadays, but when we used to play football in the street, we used to fall out at least every two days. So I'm going to tell you maybe something about that. I don't even have a specific example. I'm just going to tell you, we used to fall out. It could have been about anything, kicking the ball on the road, he used to say it was his garden, so he was taking his ball inside. It never ended. I'm sure you can relate, some of you boys and girls. Okay, one day, so I'm going to start off with one day. Let me think. One day I had an argument with my friend, Stephen. I'm going to put a capital S because it's his name, okay? Stephen. Okay. One day I had an argument with my friend Stephen. Let's tell you what was the argument about, okay? We fell out over a slide tackle during a football match. Okay. How do you think I felt when you fell? Do you know what? How do you think I felt when I fell out with my best friend? How do you feel when you fall out with your best friend? You want? Don't feel good, do you? It's not nice. You just walk around lonely for the rest of the day thinking about your best friend. So let's say how you felt. We could say maybe I felt upset. I felt sad. I felt disappointed. I felt lonely. Let me do it for my next sentence. So capital letter. I felt disappointed. Why did I feel disappointed? The main reason wasn't even because of the argument. It's because we didn't play with each other the rest of the day. So I'm going to use that joining word. I'll put it in red because, remember, big elephants can't always understand small elephants. Remember our little wave, remembering that word? I felt disappointed because we didn't speak to each other the rest of the day. Now, it said in that question as well, so it asked me, describe the argument. I've described how I felt. So we argued over a slide tackle during football. I'm not going to say who did the bad tackle. How I felt was I felt disappointed because we didn't speak the rest of the day and he was my best friend, still is. And third of all was how did you sort out the argument? Just like in the information text. So how do we sort it out? Well, the next day at 
we do. It's all different things we did. We shook hands and apologised to each other. And I can maybe say how I felt after we made up. I was happy that we were friends again. I'm going to read that back to myself and see if I've included all the details. Remember, I want to include who I fell out with, why we fell out, how I felt and how we sorted it out. One day I had an argument with my best friend Stephen. We fell out over a slight tackle during a football match. I felt disappointed because we didn't speak to each other the rest of the day. I'm going to say for the rest of the day. The next day we shook hands and apologised to each other. I was happy that we were friends again. So I'm sure you can all think of a time where you fell out with your friends. So best of luck with that. Try and try and include a few sentences in your little description. Maybe you could talk about a time you fell out with someone in class. And I, I'll probably remember because I have a very good memory of things that happened in class. So it'd be funny if you do. Anyway, see you later. Best of luck.